Okay, what we're working on here is buffing some capstans. These little guys here, we have, uh, these are pretty clean, but you can see some of these probably can't, it's, they probably look the same there as here. But from where I am, there's a little bit of uh, discoloration and I can see a little bit of pitting and grooves and stuff like that. So I'm taking some steel wool and I'm just buffing them on top, which I'll show in a second. Uh, this action is to a, show you here, Steinway uh, D it's for a concert, uh, new concert hall we have going on here. And uh, I'm prepping this whole piano and I'm doing a concert prep and I'm hoping to um, do some videos to show everybody the process. I have already accomplished some things I might go over again. So what we do here is we take some steel wool, 4 rot. they call it 4 rot. there's four zeros on it and it is probably the least abrasive. Uh, steel wool has a little bit of of oils in it you can feel it not much though it doesn't it doesn't add too much so all I do is from here I just kind of push this key down like so uh, let me get one closer here closer to the camera uh, like right here we push it down and we'll just go back and forth and rub back and forth I like to go front to back so any kind of lines I put in there uh, will be will go with the uh, the bottom of the the whipping um, which I'll show you in a second here um, on the action. So what we have here is um, on the bottom of the action, on the top action, there's a little piece of felt right here. Where are you? There you are. So this right here pushes on those capstans and that pushes the whipping up. And so what we're doing is we're gonna lubricate with this uh, steel wool, those capstans, and these cushions here, we're going to put some Teflon powder on. So it's good to work fast when you're, when you're buffing it. You don't have to do a uh, 10 minute job on each one just enough to get it nice and smooth. So you're just going over, pushing fairly hard and buffing these. And, and you'll notice if you have somebody playing a piano or you sit down to tune a piano or work on one, you'll know when this needs to be done. You'll hear a little tiny squeak, it'll go weep, weep, weep. Uh, that squeak, uh, sometimes hard to find, but if you know what it is, you'll actually uh, be able to pinpoint it when you hear it. A lot of times you might think that squeak is from here in the balance rail and it very well could be sometimes but a lot of times it'll be this. And it's a hard one to diagnose if you've never seen it before or heard it before and figured it out but that's a big squeaker um, and that right there is worth its weight in gold knowing that ahead of time when you're searching around pianos. So that is, I'm going to go through this whole set and then I will be back in the next video. That, um, I'll have one on here for um, how to put Teflon on those um, repetition um, felts.